Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to discuss our chapter set in which we are going to discuss the operations on set. Earlier in our earlier lecture we have discussed operation on sets of intersection and union. Our today's topic is difference of two sets. How can we find out the difference of two set? Okay. Let A and B be the two sets. The set difference of the set B from set A is the set of all the elements in A, but not in B, right? We can write A difference B or A minus B. Okay, take an example to understand our topic. If we have set A having elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and B, having the elements 3, 4, 5, 6. We need to find out A minus A difference B and also we need to draw the Venn diagram. So the solution is we will first write our set A and then B. Then we need to keep in our mind how to find out the difference. The elements which are in A but not in B, right? So the answer is 1, 2. Why the answer is only one, one and two, not three, four, because the elements three and four are present in set B. So that's why the answer is only one and two. And we are not going to write, write down the elements which are present in B, right? So have a look on a Venn diagram. This is our universal set. Suppose we have drawn set A. And then set B, you know that the common elements are going to be right down in the overlapping parts. And the shaded area shows our answer that is A difference B. Now we are going to take another example. If we have set A having the elements 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and B 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 and 13. Then our requirement is B difference A and draw Venn diagram. So we have the solution. First we have uh, we, we have written our set A and then set B. Then what we need to do? We need to find out B minus A or we can say B, B difference A. So the elements which are in B but not in A. So the answer is 9, 11 and 13. Why we are not writing 3, 5, 7? Because that 3, 5, 7 is also present in set A. This is our Venn diagram. All right. We have another question. And um, a set is having elements. A, B, E, I, O. And the second set, which is D, having elements B and E. We need to find out C minus D and we need to draw the band diagram. So, we have a solution. We... Then the C difference D is A, I, O. Why A, I, O? Because B and E is present in D also. So these two sets are overlapping sets. So when we are drawing our Venn diagram, we need to keep our in mind the relationship between the between two sets. All right. So this triangular box, uh, rectangular box shows that our universal set, this bigger circle shows the set C, which contains the element A, B, E, I, O. But this smaller circle shows the set D having the elements B, E. So only the shaded area shows the answer that is C difference D. All right, we are taking a, um, one more example to clarify our concept and we need to find out D minus C. All right, you can do the solution in this way as well. D difference C, so first you will write down the set D and then write down the set A. After that, you can see that our answer is B and D because these two sets are disjoint. So 
The answer is B, D. So there, it is our Venn diagram which shows D minus C. First we have drawn the C, then D, and the only, we have shaded only our D, set D. So this shows that D minus C or D difference C. Okay. This is the, you can say the summary or some more example of the difference of sets by using band diagrams. We can see that this diagram shows that A minus B and this diagram shows B minus A. Both the diagrams are same, only the difference is the shaded area. So if the A is shaded, it means this is A minus B. All right. And this is B minus A, which shows that only B is shaded. Okay, the next example is for the sets which are, um, which are subset, means D is a subset of C. All right, if I'm going to find out C minus D, then I need to shade only C. If I'm going to find out D minus C, then I need to shade D. All right, this is uh, the example for the disjoint sets. If these two sets are disjoint, they are going to draw, uh, they are going to be draw separately E and F. And if this is E minus F, then E is going to be um, shade and if, we have to find out F difference E, then we need to shade F only, okay? So this is about the difference of two sets. Now we are going to, move, we are moving toward our next topic, next operation that is very important again, that is a complement of a set, right? So how can we find out the complement of a set and what is the complement of a set? The complement of a set using the Venn diagrams is, is a subset of universal set. This U shows that the universal set, okay? The complement of a set using the Venn diagram is a subset of universal set. U, let U be the universal set and A be the set of, uh, be a set such that A is a subset of universal set. So the, the question arises, what is the universal set? Actually, the universal set is a super set of a set which we are interested, okay? If A is a set of a um, number which, which are, let's suppose, you know, one, two, three, four, then universal set must be the super set which contains one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. It can be a natural number as well. It can be, the universal set can be a whole number as well. So then we move toward our topic. Then the complement of a set A with respect to the universal set is, denoted by a dash or a c this c is in a superscript so a complement or we can write down universal set difference a it, uh, and is de uh, defined as a set of all the elements of universal set which are not in a it is same as we, where how we find the difference of two set but the complement means mm -hmm. that you need to find the difference from the universal set. Okay, what is this? This is uh, the set builder notation form of a complement of a set. So how can we read it? How can we write it? So complement of A is equals to X belongs to the universal set, such that X not belongs from set A. So the elements belong from the universal set, set but they are not going to be belong from set A. And this is just some uh, general representation of the complement of a set, of a Venn diagram. Okay, so if we are going to find out the uh, A complement, then this rectangular box shows the universal set and this circle shows A and the shaded area shows the complement of a set. Okay, so we can um, clarify our topic by using some examples. Okay, I'm going to take an example to find out a complement of a set, right? A universal set is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And set A is one, three, five, seven, nine, right? And we need to find out the complement of set A and draw Venn diagram. So there is a solution. Okay. You can see that A complement is equals to universal set difference A. So that will be equal to the universal set difference set A, okay? First, we will write down our universal set, the elements which are present in the universal set, and find the difference from A. 
So we can see that we have the answer as two, four, six, eight, because one, three, five, seven, and nine. They are present in set A, so we need the elements which, which are in universal set, but not in A, okay? Now let's draw the band diagram. Okay, this is our universal set which contains the element one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our set A contains the elements one, three, five, seven. So the shaded area, this blue shaded area shows the complement of A. All right, uh, I'm going to take the last example of this class. So if we are having a set, set universal set that contains the alphabets A, B, E, I, O, and C contains the elements A, B, I, another set which named as D, having the elements B and E. So I want to find out C minus D whole complement, okay? The difference of a set, whole complement. And I need to draw the Venn diagram, okay? According to the given question, we know that first we need to find out C difference D. We need to first solve bracket. So first we will find out C difference D. The C and the elements of the uh, C is A, B, I, and the element of D are B and E. So the C difference is A and I. Okay, we, can, we are not going to write down B. Okay, then if uh, first I have um, calculated C minus D, then I'm going to find out the whole complement. The universal set minus C difference D. The universal set, according to the question is given, A, B, E, I, O. Difference A, I. So the answer is B, E, O. Okay, B, E, O. I and A is in C minus D. So if I want to draw the Venn diagram, first I will draw this universal set that this, this whole circle is representing set C, which contains the element A, I, B. All right, and this circle represents the set D, which contains two elements, B and E. All right, and the bigger, the super set contains the element A, B, I, O, okay? So the shaded area shows that our answer, that is C difference D whole complements, okay? I hope you understand the today's topic. Okay, thank you, Alafis. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.